Hello there, Aries. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of October 12th through the 18th. Your first card for Monday comes up as the Five of Clubs in reverse. Five of Clubs in reverse just tells me that you're working on a project with some other people um, and you all should have the same goal or the same target, should be working towards the same thing. A lot of creative energy going on on this project and everybody has different ideas about how it should be accomplished. The best advice, because this, card's come in, this card comes in reversed for you, Aries, is that when you realize that you're in this sort of chaotic situation trying to get this project to move forward, is to back out as quickly and as gracefully as you possibly can. The reason is if you stay involved in this, what's going to happen is it's going to be a total waste and sucking of your energy, end up depleting you, and then you won't have anything to show for it because as long as nobody can be on the same page, this project does not get to move forward. So when you recognize yourself in that situation, best thing you can do is step out of it as gracefully as possible. On Tuesday, Aries, what you have coming up is the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups really talks about looking around and going, hmm, wouldn't it be nice if, and kind of doing a lot of daydreaming and sort of um, getting some ideas about maybe some, some ways that you would like your life to be that it's not right now. So this is a card really uh, of non-substantial energy work actually happening. I shouldn't say non-substantial energy. Synergy is always substantial, but I didn't, there's not a lot of, of go in this card. It's all about the daydreaming, the pipe dreaming, all of that good stuff. Now, where the energy actually does get something accomplished, though, is that it, has, it starts some little seeds in your brain about, well, what could my life be like if I did things a little bit differently? But I don't see you taking any action on Tuesday to move towards any of these dreams yet. I just see you just kind of doing the dreaming and enjoying that part of it. Now, on Wednesday, Aries, what we have coming up is we have the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords, um, for what I'm actually picking up for you guys, for the Ten of Swords, Aries, is somebody, the words I'm literally hearing is somebody bad-mouthing you. So somebody talking bad about you. And I do feel like for most of you, this person will be talking bad to your face. This is not going to be any kind of hidden thing in most cases. Uh, there's going to be the small, small, small minority of you where people are kind of talking behind your back. But even that, I think you either walk in on or overhear or you suspect or somebody tells you. So even that, I feel like whatever happens as far as somebody bad-mouthing you, I think you either know about it because they're doing it right to your face or you find out about it very, very quickly from the moment that it actually happens. So that's what's coming in on Wednesday. What kind of advice for that? <coughs> Excuse me. So what Spirit is saying for advice for how to handle that is just sit back, chill out, relax. Don't let it phase you. It's not personal and as long as you don't make it into a big deal, it doesn't become a big deal. So that's advice on that card on Wednesday. Thursday we have the Eight of Clubs in Reverse. The Eight of Clubs in Reverse just tells me that things are slowing down for you on Thursday. So where maybe things might have been very hectic before, um, maybe. I don't feel like for all of you it's been very hectic, but uh, for some of you. Um, but things are definitely coming down to a, a snail's pace on Thursday. So for those of you who have work that you haven't been able to do, because things have been kind of crazy, sort of have your mindset on Thursday that, okay, I'm going to be able to catch up on some of this other stuff because um, it's a prime opportunity and I don't feel like it's going to last long. Okay. Now, Friday, three of coins showing up. Three of coins is just telling me there's some kind of celebration on Friday. This is kind of a typical card for a Friday, you know, going out after work, having some fun with your friends this type of thing. So this is really just some type of celebration going on Friday. For a lot of you, I feel like this is going to involve family, although I would say we've got about a 50-50% chance. 50% of you, it'll involve family. 50% of you, it's going to be more friends and just hanging out, um, having a good time, just celebrating. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yep. Happiness celebration. That's what I see on that. Now, Saturday... What we have showing up for you, Aries, is we have the Ten of Coins in reverse. Ten of Coins in reverse just means that 
They are spending a little bit of money. Money is coming out of your pocket is what it means for most of you. For some of you, this is actually going to be <clears throat> maybe giving away a material resource or um, or selling a material resource. But I do feel like there's money coming out of your pocket. There's something or there's a material resource that you are getting rid of. Um, definitely something like that showing up for you on Saturday. And this may very well be something that you had planned to do all along. Um, but that's not necessarily a for sure thing. It could be also something unexpected. So kind of have to wait and see how that pans out. That's interesting. That's the first time I've ever actually gotten that um, exact energy off of that card in reverse. Now Sunday what we have coming up is we have the falling tower and the falling tower is in reverse which is better than right side up I think. So reverse just means that you did have a situation in your life where you felt like um, in that situation you were very secure, like things were moving uh, forward, like that situation would last forever. It was pretty much a safe situation for you. And so you really weren't looking to replace that situation or upgrade that situation. You just thought it would last forever. And so what has happened at some point in the past, that situation was jerked away from you. And so when that situation got yanked away from you, um, you had to start looking around and figuring out, okay, well, what can I do to replace the security of that situation in my life? And so when the falling tower shows up in reverse, it's telling me that on Sunday, you're finding some great opportunities to replace that old situation. And those great opportunities actually are better than what you had with your old situation. So it's really a fantastic card. It's a nice place to make it to. So Aries, that is your week. Thank you everybody so much for stopping by and for spending time with me today. Thank you all of you who are uh, watching my daily videos so faithfully. I appreciate that so much. Thank you to everyone who has had a reading with me and everyone who will have. And thank you to everyone who likes, shares, and subscribes to my channel. I appreciate all of your support so much. Everyone have a fantastic week. I'll see you back here next time around. Peace out.